that used to be the entrance, not that one, but here it used to be the entrance to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Today it's totally not as big as it used to be at the 4th century when St. Helen came and built it. This is one of the first churches that were built in the world, if not the first one, together with the Nativity Church and Paternoster on top of Mount of Olives. Um, all of those churches that I mentioned are in my uh, YouTube channel. You can actually look for it. We're climbing up to the roof of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, but let's talk about it. The church is not like a regular church. That church belongs to everyone, almost everyone, mainly to the Catholic, Greek, Orthodox, Armenian, but you will find Egyptian there, Ethiopians there, from the Church of Syria, the Assyrian Church, um, the Protestants, some of them, believe that that is not the site of the church because it's out, it's inside the walls that they looked outside the walls and next to the Damascus Gate, you can visit the other option. It's called the Garden Tomb. You can find that video in my YouTube channel as well. But uh, I want you to know that there are two options. The white dome there is the Jewish quarter, it's a synagogue. We just left the Muslim quarter and we enter to the Christian quarter. And in front of you, you can see the two domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Then let's continue. We're heading to the ninth station of the cross. And as I already mentioned, then that church is divided to so many, and there are a lot of problems between the uh, said it, different kind of orders, Christian orders. And uh, as Sir David said, no violence. Let's talk. Let's find a solution. And, and today I must say, from the mainly from the. Uh, uh, British time, Monday time, there's kind of a status quo agreement. You, they, now everyone knows what to do and what not, what's theirs but not what, uh, what not, but still they have a lot of conflicts. We are the Egyptian part of the church. Look how beautiful it is. Wait. Mm -hmm. Beautiful picture to take. You can see the two domes of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Then we are living now the Coptic Orthodox Patriarch of Jerusalem, St. Anthony Coptic Monastery, which I never visit, I must say. Monday I will. And just for the information, in Queen Helen Church, you can visit uh, Queen Helen water system, which is a beautiful water system. Uh, we believe that Queen Helen used it, that it's right there, but don't forget to leave the donation for the church. And we are living now the Coptic, entering to the Ethiopian. Where the tourists, you saw a few of them, but most of them will be downstairs. Because not a lot knows about that roof. It's called Deir el Sultan, and that's where the uh, Ethiopian are uh, living. The construction is mainly above the Greek Orthodox Church. One day it will be ready. Although it looks almost ready now, I must say. And that olive tree, and you can see the olive fruit on it, is very important to our story. According to the Ethiopians, this is where um, Abram almost sacrificed Isaac. And there's a huge connection between that and that. 
because um, Jesus came to complete, to end that story, to, um, to take our sins, um, to make us pure. And I believe that you, David, Sir David, Arling, you are pure, at least according to what you say. I will be more than happy to know now, so you know, and you're part of the family right now. I know that you're watching my videos. You wrote so many good things about me. I'm so happy, but I'm not the important one. The important one is it's you. The important one is the information, is the video. Then, uh, the um, Ethiopians believe that there are a creation of a visit between Queen Shiva to King Solomon. And, um, wow, it's one hour video. Ooh, I might divide it into two, then you will have uh, uh, three videos. One of all everything, all the information. The other one will be until we reach the Via del Rosa, and then the third one will be the Via del Rosa. Wow, one hour. I'm talking a lot. But this is mostly the only place that I can talk. The rest of the places, it's yes, no. Yes, no, yes, I'm going to dish the, yes, I will make the laundry, yeah, I will fall, yeah, I will do that, I will take the garbage out. Then in that case, a creation between Queen Shiva and King Solomon, and nine months later, the first Ethiopian was born. He came to here when he was 20 to meet his father that looks like him, different color, but looks like him. And his father gave him the Ten Commands, the Ark of the Covenant. Then in every church, uh, Orthodox Ethiopian church, you will see that it's divided into two. The hidden part is uh, where the Ark of the Covenant, of course, the replica of it. And only the high priest can enter to it, just like the high priest in the Jewish temple. And the other one is for the um, disciples. You will see, you will see many the disciple area. Uh, there are two churches, and we're going to go through those two. But now I have to take out the hat that I got from uh, a very close friend of mine, one of my subscriber. Um, actually, it was owned by EJ, her husband. And this is on by Betty, and uh, she sent it to me as a present. I love you, Betty. It's so nice to know that I do have so many new family members, and you can be part of it. Then let me organize myself. Then let's enter now to the two Ethiopian churches, and soon you will see that we are standing in front of the facade of the church of the Holy Sepulchre. Uh, I'm going to bless it in three places, inside the church, uh, morning inside the church but I'll try to be quiet uh, in, the, in the first church you will see a painting of uh, Queen Shiva visiting King Solomon please take care of your head when you're entering here it's very low let's get used to the darkness
Welcome to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now they are renovating um, the floor of the church. It took them two, two men years uh, to understand that we must do that, and now they are doing it. This is the famous facade of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The tent station of the cross is there when they stripped him from his clothes. But let's climb up to the Golgotha to see where she's taking a picture. I don't want to disturb her. Until then, you can see the columns. It looks like a little bit like the Jewish temple. And a graffiti from 1930. Uh, 1389 or 84 and because we are dealing with a UK guy that right here you can find a tomb of uh, uh, another knight a British one I forgot his name I always forget his name I don't know why but he actually signed one of the persons who signed the Magna Carta. Then let's climb up to the Golgotha. The Golgotha belongs to the Greek Orthodox and the Catholic. We are entering through the Catholic area. And if we talked about Abraham and Isaac, here it is. You can see it here too. That's where they made Jesus to, his, to the cross. And it's such an amazing idea because when he died, he, had, he shouted, Abba, Abba, Lama Shavaktani, Abba, Abba, Lama Zavtani, why did he leave me? And then, remember what's happened, uh, the earth shake, and um, the, the curtain of the temple been destroyed. And the Linguinius, a Roman soldier who touched, used a spear, uh, said, This is the Son of God. Then, from that moment, as I said, Christianity or the New Judaism became to be owned by everyone, not by the Jews anymore. This is part of the Pietà, but let's stand in the line. Oh gosh. Because it's empty now, let's first bless the cross. Until then, we can see the gold water, the bedrock. John, Jesus, and his mother. When Jesus was on the cross, he asked John to take care of his mother. Then 
this was the this is the crucifixion site. And that was the Pieta. I didn't I couldn't speak. Um, he saw um, Mary with a spear in the heart, which is right there. That nun was praying there. And uh, now let's go to see the tomb of Jesus. So, the Golgotha, the Calvary skull, before he was buried, they purified his body by Joseph of Ramitia and the Communists who gave their tomb to him. And according to what we hear, this is the stone, and everyone is blessing everything that they brought from home or they bought, because this is where make the body of Jesus touched. Now the tomb is supposed to be a cave. Mm -hmm. Oh sorry. I'm trying to behave. Then it was supposed to be like a cave. That's how the Jesus used to be buried. Sorry. The rich one. On the way you can see a Armenian chapel. Later on I will light candles for you, the one who asked me to do that. And not a lot of people waiting in the line for the tomb. But the tomb is not a cave anymore because it's been destroyed a few times. I cannot enter with a video into the tomb, then in about two minutes I will end that video and I will enter with a cross to bless it there, just to show you what we can see, then you can see the tomb, the two chapels there, the first one. is with the candle, you can see the candlelight. And the second one is the tomb itself. <laughs> Here they are already finished to excavate beneath the floor to see uh, what they can actually find. A little bit blocking it, I don't know if you can see a little bit from there. difficult to see but, but they're excavating the floor beneath the tomb. We will end our tour here. Uh, this is the 15th station from Yaldo. There are already all, uh, only 14th station. That is where Mary Magdalene so Jesus, after the resurrection, then in that case, thank you for being with me. Uh, the one who reached the end of that video, it's one hour, 14 minutes, 15 minutes, please write me something. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.